Hiya, you all right? Today, I've got my trifle dish out, which means one thing, Christmas chocolate trifle. Let's go. First of all, make up some custard. Now I've used Bird's Custard Powder. Don't go all snobby on me now. This has been around since about 1837. And it's been around since 1837 because it's a good product. It's a good product. Don't be a food snob, there is nothing wrong with this. So I've made up two pints of custard. The instructions are on the back. Then, because it's a chocolate trifle, and I will say I prefer this custard to the pots of ready-made custard because you will get a thicker consistency with this. The pots of custard tend to stay runny, whereas I want this to set, I want it to be set in the bowl. Now we're gonna add some chocolate to make this chocolatey. I'm not sure how much yet, I'll let you know. We'll just break it in. And when it looks chocolatey enough, that's it ready. This is dark chocolate. We'll just stir it through. This will also make your custard go thicker. Stir it in. There, look, you can see it going nice and chocolatey. Let your custard cool down a little bit and make a cup of hot chocolate and slice up some chocolate Swiss roll. These are just from Aldi. I've poured my hot chocolate into a dish so that I can dip my sponge in. Now you don't want this sponge sodden. It's just a quick in and out. I'll move it over so you can see there. And when I'm gonna put my, dish, put my dish there. So a quick, make sure it's cool enough. Don't burn your fingers. Dip it in, pop it in your dish. So just a quick, in and out. Now how much you need really depends on the size of your dish. So I've not quite covered the bottom so I'm going to open another one. See I've lined the bottom of the bowl. The rest of this cake can just go on a plate. I'll cling film it, we'll have a cup of tea after. Right now I've also got some mini brownie bites already made. If you want to you can make all this by hand yourself but I haven't got time for that. And we're just going to tumble those in but keep some back for the top just four or five for the top there just thrown in now the custard it's still warm but it's cooled slightly that's going to go straight over the top there's no jelly in this one in this trifle i'm just going to pour it i think you want a good layer of custard If your bowl's not this big, just half the half the recipe. This needs to go in the fridge to go completely cold. So this is out the fridge, it's nice and cold. Now I want a layer of mousse on the top and I'm gonna use Chocolate Angel Delight. So mix two packets with a pint of milk. Give it a good whisk up. Now this trifle will do at least eight portions, eight to 10 easily. just pour it over the top these set really quickly so pour it over and then pop it in the fridge now I want some whipped cream for the top so I've got 600 mils of double cream whip it up and then just pile the cream on top Spread it around, don't be tight with it. It's Duchess having a drink. Oh, I've just spilt more teasers. So, almost done. I've got some more teasers that I've just spilt. I'm gonna. them over the top use any kind of chocolate that you like oh, for the cream I 
Oh, one for me. Promise I've only had the one. Then the little, what are these again? Brownies that you kept back. Stick them in. I've got some of these little bars of dark chocolate and I'm just going to snap them in. How good does that look? Put it in the fridge till you're ready for it. Right, let's have some. And the only way is just to dig in. And the struggle is going to be not to get too big a piece. Let's see if I can. I'm going to show you down here. How gorgeous is that? Look down there, you can see all that sponge. How lovely. Now this is every chocolate dream. The sponge is lovely and moist and it's really nice when you get a bit at the bottom and of that brownie. It's really nice when you get a bit of everything on your spoon because for all it's all soft apart from the Maltesers it has different mouth feels so you've got the moist sponge the quite firm custard the soft mousse the silky cream the crunch of the Malteser the chewiness of the brownie and the snap of the dark chocolate on the top It really is lovely, but this is too big a piece for me. I'm going to share it with Ian. But yeah, at least 10 portions there. All the kids will love it. The adults will love it. Give it a go. It's delicious. Make little ones if you want to. Make a one half the size if you want to. It's your pudding. Not mine. Use the chocolate that you like on it. What I would say is don't put Maltesers in it because they'll just go soft and chewy. But yeah. You do you. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and share. Thank you so much for watching and being here. See you soon. Bye bye.